Welcome to Top 5 Explosion, your one-stop show for the top of the top in the video game universe. America, land of the free, home of the fast food-induced type 3 diabetes. In this episode of Top 5, we explore the video game Americans who we'd like to sponsor for a triple bypass surgery. What the fuck? <laughs> Number 5, Bob. For some people, big is beautiful. For Bob, big is an advantage. This bodacious body of a freestyle karate practitioner chose to be this way. He used to be all chiseled and hunky-like, till he realized he was having a hard time kicking the inner anus of his larger opponents. This is a case where being blippy is a genetic, but actually a life choice. Bob wanted to be an agile and movable object, so he ramped up his caloric intake without the muscle building but kept training to maintain chub speed. You put enough speed behind enough weight, the result is devastating power. I'm pretty sure much about Bob's appearance and ability is actually based on Chinese martial arts legend Sammo Hung, immediately catapulting Bob's roly-poly ass to the top tier bracket. Number four, Rufus. Nothing says sexy like confidence, and this dude has that in a bag, along with a few extra churros. That's not something I'd ever say to his face because I'm certain he'd beat my ass up and down a restaurant drive through Not only does he have the skills, but he's nuts enough to proclaim himself the number one fighter in the entire US. The advantage anyone else has is that his eyesight is pretty bad. Roofers consider world champion martial artist Ken Masters to be his rival, but anyone he sees wearing red with blonde hair, he assumes is Ken Masters. Sad fact is, obesity is often linked to eye disease. It's possible Rufus suffers from cataracts, maculopathy, or diabetic retinopathy. Jeez, now I can't help but feel sorry for the giant trailer park onesie wearing banana man. Number 3, King Hippo. I'm gonna be straight up. I never enjoyed punching anyone in the mouth as much as I did King Hippo. He was probably just asking for a mountain of food after he opened his mouth before he raised his hand in an attempt to deck me. The only thing I wanted to feed this all-American blob were my fists. His name is King Hippo. What exactly is he the king of? High cholesterol? He claims to be from a place called Hippo Island, but we all know that's actually what he calls his well-set-in, television-overlooking, Frito Crumb-surrounded lounge chair. I'll give it to the big dude. He can throw down, as long as you don't run around a lot while trading blows. I wonder if he inspired real-life plus-size pummelers like Butterbean. Number 2, Coach. I know what you're asking yourself. How the hell was this dude a health teacher before the zombie apocalypse struck? That, or you just didn't know he had anything to do with any sort of health field. Looking a bit closer, you can tell this dude was quite the ripped athlete at one phase in his life, but lately, he didn't let himself go. Yeah, okay, maybe the knee injury had something to do with it, but that didn't stop OJ. On the real, if a brother liked to eat, then a brother's gonna eat. One thing I've learned in my life experience, you don't really want to corner a big, fearless, hungry black man who is wielding a chainsaw. They're unpredictable. Coach knows how to throw his weight around. The Kitchen. Number one, Hoagie. There are some stereotypes that will always be associated with being a Jelly Belly American slacker. Besides besmirched shirts donning the logo of some horrid metal band and long stringy hair, enter Hoagie which is really the perfect name for someone you assume is constantly stuffing his face. Put in his position, I think a good question is, what is there to eat after being propelled 200 years into the past? They didn't even have fast food then. What makes Hoagie awesome is he got to hang out with the American forefathers, making sure American history happened the way it was supposed to. Hoagie is a legit unsung American hero, so the next time you think about looking down on any overweight individual, remember, they may be keeping our sacred history safe and intact. Well, that's it for this episode of Top 5. Are there video game fat Americans you think should be on this list? Well, then subscribe up top and vote on Ranker's Greatest Fattest Americans in Video Games in the link in the description below. I'm Flitz, and you'll hear me next time. Ranker.com